Hello YouTubers, uh, it's me, LEGO Fire First Legion here. Hi, uh, today we're back with a review, not of a LEGO set, but this time of the LEGO book. Um, it comes with 296 pages, not pieces. Um, costs about £14, about um, 15 to $16, and about um, 16 to 17 euros. Uh, it's a really nice book, and it um, tells you all about the history of LEGO, um, how it started, how it began, and how it got to what we know and love today as the Lego Brick. And this is a really cool book. Uh, if you're a real Lego fan, you've got to pick this book up. I got it for Christmas. And this is the latest version, as you can see, expanded and fully revised. Um, they were first released this version of the book, well, this book, in 2009, but this is the 2012 edition. So this is really cool. Very nice front cover. I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Sorry, I've had to move it forward a little bit because of this pipe. Um, it's in the way. Sorry, guys. And um, this is really cool. So I'm just going to start at the beginning and stuff. Um, only the best. And this, this little sign here, um, is what is in this picture. As you can see, I think you can just see it there. I'm not exactly sure it. It does, it's a motto, it's um, carved in Danish, it says a reminder to his employees to skimp, to never skimp on quality. Ole Kirk's motto has been guiding the principle of Lego, the Lego group for more than 75 years and that picture is from the late 1940s of women workers in the Lego factory. And um, here's some pictures, firstly this is the founder of Lego, this is um, Ole Kirk Christian and here he is um, what happened is was Lego started off with wooden toys you can see there he's um, he's sorting out it's a wooden duck as you can see um, and that's a really cool picture that's from 1943 so that picture's 71 years old and it started off um, through um, making wooden toys and then it evolved into Lego it says tough free generations of ownership and family management. The LEGO group has grown from a small local company into the world's leading provider of creativity, development and play products. Each generation has contributed to LEGO brand, LEGO brand's expansion and continued success. Um, some more pictures. This is the founder of LEGO, Ole Kirk, his son Godfred and um, what's his name? Ka I think it's Kad K.G. Um, Kijeld Kirk and he, there's a picture of him, there's a further picture of him in the book um, what he looks like now um, to celebrate 50 years of Lego and there's some more pictures of stuff um, now these are the proper toys they started off with they started off with wooden toys um, like you can see this duck here um, these, this game and stuff Oh, the building blocks even not game, and um, all this sort of stuff, and they were going bigger and better. They were going from um, preschool stuff all the way to like to models, toy models, metal models, and stuff. Um, and then there's this whale, and then in the 1950s, 1951, uh, the, uh, 1947 they decided to switch to plastic. It says in 1947, Ole Kirk um, purchased a pl plastic injection moulding machine imported from Britain. Woohoo! One of the first in Denmark, the machine cost um, 30,000 uh, Danish crowns. Um, one, one of the 15th, one fifteenth of the company's earnings for the year. Um, the plastic toys were expensive to manufacture and the risk paid off by 1951. Half the company's toys were made from plastics. So that's really interesting. Um, and you can see it's evolving um, all the way through time. You've got cars, really old cars. Uh, Beetle there, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, Ferguson Tractor here. Um, in 1953, this was re-released again. And it was separated so you could build it yourself. And it already started with the concept of Lego being built for yourself. So that is really cool. Um, m moving further on, it's sort of a bit of a timeline here. Um, work hard, play well. Um, 
So there is the wooden toys again. The motto. The motto. Um, there was a fire that destroyed the Lego factory and only Kurt's life work. A new toy factory is built and he remakes the lost designs himself. So that's really stuff. And this is 1947, the big year when Lego, um, where plastic comes into Lego company and they start producing plastic and it's imported from the UK, the machine. So that's really cool. Um, his son, Oleg, um, becomes the company, um, the company uh, director of the company uh, on his 30th birthday in 1950. So, I mean, this is really cool, guys. And that is a picture of, I think it's Cage, Kurt Christian. So this is the um, grandson of the creator of Lego. So this is, if I just go to the start, that that guy there on that box is this guy right here. And that's him in 1951. And that picture is in 2008. So that's 50 years on. Um, that's 50 years later since the company was um, established. So that's really cool. Um, Lego is very is coming very big now, as you can see. Um, so this is really cool. That's um, a load of his employees in 1958. Um, the company now has 140 employees. The first sloping roof tile breaks bricks are produced. So that's really cool. Um, very interesting. Um, in 1963, um, the material um, that made the these um, the other Lego bricks, this kind, was replaced with the modern day material used. ABS acrylonitrite butaned styrene replaces cellulose ac actate as the material used to make Lego bricks. It's more colour fast and allows better modelling. Um, so that's really interesting. That's when we have the bricks we know and love today. Um, that sort of style. Um, one of the big ones, the Lego the Lego um, logo, this sort of logo is introduced. Um, the modern day one that we have um, is a bit different, slightly different, but looks near enough the same. If I can just compare, as you can see, it looks near enough the same, except this is a bit thinner slightly. Um, Lego boat, uh, the first floatable Lego boats are designed. Um, 1978, the first Lego minifigures um, arrive on the scene. Proper minifigures, not this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, the minifigures we know and love today. Um, uh, Duplo, it says where Duplo came in. Duplo came in, I think, in 1969. It says, uh, here it is. Du Duplo um, is launched in 1969. So this is some very interesting and very big stuff. I'm going to skip a little bit ahead. These are all like the catalogs. The very old catalog there. Uh, Lego system. Very interesting. That one's from... When is it from? That must be from the 50s. This one's from uh, this one's from 1959. Uh, this one's from 1963, 1974, 1981, um, 1984, 1981, um, sort of inside, 1993, and yeah, 1999. And I remember that one. And I remember that one. Funnily enough, that 2009 catalog. Um, Bigger, um, more stuff as well. Lego Star Wars. Very, um, very relevant this because this was the first licensed theme Lego took on. Um, and Lego Star Wars is still continuing for 15 years. It's the longest and um, was their first ever running theme. And the Lego we know, uh, the Lego logo we know and love today was created in 1998. Um, so that's really interesting. So... It's had the same logo for nearly 16 years, so that's really interesting. Then they do more licensing, Lego Spider-Man, which I knew about. Um, if you didn't know about that's interesting. The Lego Studios, I've heard of that. I didn't think it lasted that long, that Lego Studios. 
Lego Star Wars the video game, very big. Um, this is when Lego started doing very licensed video games, and that got very big. So, Lego Star Wars did kick off a lot of this stuff. It kicked off licensed video games, licensed uh, themes. It was, it was very big. Um, and then Spider-Man and all that, and Indiana Jones come later, as you'll see in the book. Second video games released in 2006. Had that on Nintendo DS. Um, Cage, Kjeld, Kjeld, Kirk Christian, the guy you saw, he was nine years old with the with his um, grandfather, the founder. He um, he is inducted as the, the into the Toy Industry Hall of Fame in the USA. And Lego Magazine becomes Lego Club Magazine. Still subscribe to Lego Club Magazine. Um, Indiana Jones. Remember those sets? I sadly didn't get any of them because I wasn't really into Lego so much, but I did watch the fourth movie, that's really interesting. Pirates of the Caribbean have a lot of sets, if I just take a trip over here, have a lot of Lego Pirates of the Caribbean sets as you can see. Loads of them. I might do a review one day, if you want me to. Um, Legoland Florida, second one in the USA. Um, all this stuff. The patent, the way this was designed, this Lego, um, been the same since 1958, and that's what the 50 years were celebrated for with that um, KL being on the front of the box. It was celebrating 50 years of this design of the Lego thing. So 2018, it will be 60 years of the Lego brick as we know and love today um, in that design. So here's some elements to remember. So these are bricks that are really significant. Lego Windows introduced in 1954. Lego flags. I've not seen many, hardly any flags. Um, Lego Wheel, very big, very very big. 1962. Uh, it's a fact that the most, um, the company that produces the most wheels in the world is Lego. Um, they produce millions every year, millions of these little wheels. Um, one third elements introduced. Coupling introduced, um, Lego Jupiter Brick 1969, we already said that. Uh, Lego Minifigures 1978, we already said that. Horses introduced 1984, and yeah, that's really cool. Um, Star Wars Elements 1999, obviously. Lego Castle Series Dragons and all that, 1993. And yeah, Lego Games 2009, they did have Lego Games before that, but they weren't as popular as these, the ones we know and like today. Because I remember when the this kind of version with this dice was introduced. Um, I've got one or two Lego games. Um, I've got the Creationary, and I was going to get the Star Wars one. The Lego minifigure, uh, the first one we know came in 1978. So that's really cool. Um, and then it says all about how Lego bricks are made exactly and um, it said approximately in 2007 the Lego uh, um, 16 billion Lego um, elements were made um, in the Bulland factory in Denmark the, the hometown factory of where it was created and wow that is huge um, look at all those and then in 1980, 1978 to 1989 uh, so for nine years, all these Lego minifigure heads, it says, were the same. So they were the same two dots and the smiley face. Whereas now, obviously, as you can see, um, as you notice with every Lego set, they're all different. Nearly, they're all different uh, now. They're completely... So they have, to, they have to keep track of them all and it must be so he hectic. Um, and then it shows you how they design a Lego set. They sketch it. They... Um, they do a lot of sketches before they actually work out and then they use techniques um, of how to do um, mechanisms and all that it's very um, it involves a lot of engineering Lego um, the logo uh, first ever logo 1934 1936 this logo 19, um, 1936 1946 1946 again um, 1950, um, 1953, 1953, 
Um, I tried. I've got Cad Bane. He's over there. Um, expanded universe. So, and then here we are, Indiana Jones. Um, I didn't really, I sadly didn't get any of these like you know, in Lego Indiana Jones. It was a year later when I got into Lego properly. Um, so I've been collecting for five years. And I've been trying to bid hard on some of these uh, sets. I tried really hard for that one, but price just went out ridiculous. Uh, Lego Batman. Funny enough, I do remember the Lego Batman sets. I was into Lego, guys, just to clarify. Um, and then I sort of stopped a bit, and then um, I got into Do uh, Doctor Who, and then I went into Lego Star Wars. So yeah, the I think the some of the old Batman sets, um, some of the old Batman sets are a bit better than the new ones. The new ones just look comic-y and a bit meh. They look a bit comic-y, too comic-y. Um, sorry guys, I'm going to skip on a little bit. Lego Harry Potter, another major theme. Obviously, start producing now since the Lego Harry, po well Harry Potter in general, the films and the books are over as such. Um, and now they're pretty old, <laughs> um, so um, they sort of went on and off with Lego Harry Potter. They went from 2001 to about 2004, then came back in 2007. Then it wasn't until 2000 and 2010. Then they came back. Permanently, and then 2011 they stopped producing. Nickelodeon, uh, there was only they decided to do the last Airbender, which is a weird idea, um, funny idea because they only made it two ever sets, and they look a bit crummy anyway, so they're not that great. Lego SpongeBob, um, Lego Group, and this was this toy is from this is um, Pluto, obviously Mickey Mouse's dog. And this is from 1956, so that's really interesting. They even had roots back then. Pirates of the Caribbean, Disney stuff, Prince of Persia, um, Toy Story, not a great theme in my opinion. Legoland, um, park design. I've been to Legoland Windsor. There's Windsor, opened in 1996, and it obviously has a lot of like, models of London. Um, so I guess that's really cool. Miniland, brand new, and that's really, it's Lego Star Wars Miniland, and that is really cool, I want to go and see that, sadly, um, I've not been able to, but I will go and see that. I have seen the other um, um, Lego um, Minilands in terms of the, I have seen all this stuff, and um, it's actually called the Alliance Arena in Germany. Uh, Discovery Centers. I've been to the Manchester one, um, but I think that's closed now. I'm not sure. You're gonna have to tell me in the comments if you know if the Manchester one's closed, because um, that's where I brought a lot of stuff. And video games. They kicked off in 1990. When did they kick off? 1997. Uh, first Lego video game, and it all went off from there. Bricks on film. As we've got, fully enough, the Lego Movie. Is coming out this Friday, so that's really ironic, isn't it? Um, special edition sets. Sorry, guys, I'm just skipping a bit here because my camera's running out of uh, charge and I don't want to be able to not um, finish. Um, Lego Club, another very big Lego.com. Um, it has 40 million unique visitors per month, that's massive. Um, what does it say that it's set up? I think it's set up in like 1999 or something like that. Um, so yeah, this is practically the end of the book. Um, sorry guys, um, this is some other stuff. And, um, brick art. Mona Lisa built our bricks. And this one's a very famous one. This one's a lot on Google Images and stuff. They're very interesting. They're from 2006. This one's from 2005, it's called Red, and that, that is just plain cool, that is amazing. Look at it, it looks like it's being reflected, that is really cool. So this is basically also um, Lego Kuso as well, Kuso means wish in Japanese, and that's where you create ideas, and if they get enough support, 10,000 supports you need, then Lego will make it to a product. And that is just about nearly the end of the book, that is the end of the book. So guys, um, 
thank you for watching this um, Lego review. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Sorry guys, um, I was a bit long there, but it is a big book. Um, next, not next weekend, weekend after, I will be reviewing the Lego movie, talking all about it. Um, spoilers will be included, um, and I'll obviously let you know on the video um, when the spoilers are, so I don't spoil it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, um, and join the Legion and subscribe today. This is LEGO Power First Legion. Thanks for watching. Um, have a great day. Bye.